Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed my very first Halloween look ever. I thought this was going to be a lot harder than it was but it actually turned out to be a lot of fun uh, and I think I just psyched myself out when I was getting the costume because I thought how in the world am I going to pull this off and I was definitely doubting my creativity but I'm really glad how this came out so if you want to see how to get this Medusa look for Halloween then please keep watching. <laughs> Yes, I curled my hair, it took me quite a while to do, but for now we're just going to put that back so that way it's out of our face. And I'm going to start off with popping a Red Bull just because your girl was tired. I bought this new Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Um, I've never used it before, and I'm just going to put that in the areas where I need my pores to be blurred. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Becca primer, put that in areas where I get oiliest the most. Next, I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. I'm in the shade 3 and 1. That's in ivory beige. I'm going to do my brows off camera to save time. Three, two, one. Next, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer right here. Basically, I'm just praying to God, please let this come out great. I was kind of having like a panic attack right here. Just, you know, trying to calm myself down, preparing myself for the worst. The one thing I will say about this eye primer is that you really got to work it in um, and not put a lot. A little goes a long way even that little tiny amount that little dot I put on my lid was way too much so the more you put the more you have to work it out and the more time it's gonna take <laughs> then I'm gonna just go ahead and put two dots on my lid and prime with this tart shape tape just for a little extra security Next, I'm going to take this Morphe Jeffree Star palette, which is on sale at all the Ulta's right now. They're all like 50% off, but I'm going to take that shade Lynn and I'm going to put that all over my lid just to set the primer. Then I'm going to take this color Wake and Bake and I'm mainly just going to focus that and pat that on the outer corner of my eye. Eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drag it over and blend it over to my crease just like so um slowly but just blend 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 sorry my camera was blurry i didn't realize that my camera was out of focus a lot of these clips um i hit a button on my camera and i don't know what button i hit but it's been having some issues with staying focused um and then i'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and i just blend it out that area that I packed and then I'm just gonna head over to the inner corner of my eye and just back 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 all the color next I'm gonna take this color neat and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner basically where I put the wake and bake shade and I'm also gonna pack that in the inner corner as well put that in my crease we're just building up some intensity with these colors and then just take a clean blending brush and just blend 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 Next, I'm going to take this NYX Look Set 17 Shadow Palette. Um, I'm going to take that green, dark green color, and I'm just going to intensify the areas that need to be intensified. So basically just the outer corners of my eye, inner corner. Um, I'll take it up into the crease and blend it a little bit. 
I just needed to blend it out with my finger just a little bit though. Sometimes using the finger is the best tool. So sometimes it's better than using a brush. Um, but I'm just gonna blend that out with that clean fluffy brush and just keep blending, blending, blending. I'm gonna go back in with that color Wake and Bake and I'm just going to um, do the top part of the crease and just make it a little bit lighter and blend it out. Then I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Adhesive. I'm gonna put that just in the center of my eye where I'm gonna be putting the glitter and I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. I didn't wanna fiddle with a brush so I just used my finger. Then I'm gonna take this color, well it's a glitter color from the palette called Millions and I'm only gonna put that in the middle um, well, I guess you could say on my lid, kind of like a cut crease, I, if you say, like, I meant for it mainly just to be in the lid, but then I just kind of kept going in and going in and going in, so it kind of just, you know, got really glittery. Bing! I went and did the other eye. Um, so now what I'm doing right here is I'm just outlining my face, just trying to see, like, where the best places would be to do the little scales and then you already know I'm taking my Park Ave Princess palette and just gonna go ahead and contour bronze my face just a little bit and get that prepared for the scales next I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm in the color right now, light medium, and just conceal under my eyes. If you don't use the Tarte Shape Tape, I want to know what concealer you use and why. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier uh, brightening powder and just brighten my under eye. And then I'm also going to do the sides of my nose, um, just like a little trick that I learned from Nikki Tutorials. Quick contour your nose. That's what I do. And then I also contour under my bronzer to make like a sharp cut. Well, yeah, like a sharp jaw cut. Jaw cut line. Right here I'm just taking a clean brush and just going to brush away all of the excess powder and just blend, make sure all of my lines are nice and smooth, no harsh lines except for under my bronzer. I like that to be a harsh line in my nose, but everything else I just try to make sure that it looks seamless. Um, then I'm going to take this NYX um, Ombre Blush, I believe this is in the color Nude Me, um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and blush my face up above my contour. These are some fishnet stockings. I'm just trying to put some scales on my face. This is a lot harder than it looks and a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I was struggling. I wish I would have had like a piece of tape or something to help me. <laughs> But it was hard to hold it with one hand and then see and then put the the eyeshadow on my face. Like I was I was struggling. Um, but I'm just gonna go in with those three colors I used on my eye: uh, the Wake and Bake and Nate, and then that um, that dark green color from the palette, which I'm struggling to open clearly. And then I'm gonna take this um, glitter all over that I got from Walmart. It's the same place that I got my costume from. And then I'm just gonna put that on my scales, just make it a little glittery. Yeah, my arm was killing me after that. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go back in with that glitter and that NYX glitter adhesive and just put that 
like in the middle of the scales and just try and put some more glitter on there to make it stand out a little bit. Um, it, it worked fine on its own, but when I put the NYX adhesive on, it worked a lot better. But then I realized that I was losing the lines that I had to divide the scales and the squares. So I just went in with that light color from that NYX palette and then I got like a, a thin brush just because the other one wasn't working and I started outlining um, like the, the squares just to intensify like the line which separates the scales, if that makes sense. Uh, right here I decided to do my highlighter so I'm just going to use this Urban Decay Oil Control Setting Spray and spray my face and then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Palette in the color Lucky Clover and I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the areas that I normally highlight. And then I went ahead and got started on my second um, scale on this side of my face. I just did it like under my cheekbone. Um, and it's the same process, the same three colors that I used. And then I'm just going to go in with that glitter. And then I'm going to use that thin angled brush with that white color. Well, kind of like that, that uh, cream kind of color from that next palette just to outline. Because, you know, I do lose some of the spacing when I go over it with the glitter um, just so that way I can define the spaces um, and at that point I decided that I didn't have enough and I wanted to do another one so I did one on the other side of my face but a little bit lower um, and then again same process same three colors glitter outline um, eventually I did decide to do um, my collarbone I wish I wouldn't have done that because you can't see it because my hair ends up covering it anyway. That one came out like a little funky too. But here I'm just, you know, outlining everything. It was a little hard to do just because I was looking in the mirror and I felt like I wasn't like outlining it the best way, but I did the best I could. So, but yeah, I started doing my collarbone and again, I just wish I wouldn't have done that because it was a waste of time anyway but oh well you learn Alright, and then now I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash. So I'm, again, just using those same three colors. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line. And then I'm just going to take this color, this bottom sparkly kind of greeny kind of color. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corners of my eyes um, and then I'm gonna take the Tarte Lights camera lashes and this was like my free birthday gift from Ulta so I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna put that on my lashes and you already know I'm gonna go in with these crazy beauty lashes these lashes are called scream they're part of her new lashes that came out so she came out with three uh, scream spooky and boo uh, right now if you guys uh, place an order and you use the code spooky you get 15% off of your entire purchase so go on and head over there to her IG page I'll have her Instagram business page linked in the bottom bar
Oh, I love these lashes. They're so full and long and beautiful. If you're doing a dramatic eye for Halloween, these are the lashes that you should be wearing. They are gorgeous. They go with any dramatic eye look. They're perfect. Look at them. Look at how full they are. Oh my goodness. Like, look at that. Then I'm just going to go ahead and pinch my lashes together and then I'm going to coat my bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place uh, Luxe Liner. This is in the color So Rare. I'm just going to go ahead and outline my lips. And then after I'm done outlining my lips, I'm going to take this NYX Filler Instinct. Um, it's in the color New Money. It's like a gold kind of uh, liquid. Not a liquid lipstick. It's more like a gloss. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lips. Um, I mean, it's really, really pretty. It's definitely beautiful on its own. But I feel like it needed um, some more zazz to it. Pizzazz. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just going to go in with that gold from that um, all over glitter, body glitter um, palette that I was using on my scales. And I'm just going to put that in the center of my lips just to give it a little extra gold. Next, I'm going to take this Kat Von D Cake Pencil in Trooper Black and I'm just going to line my waterline. Alright, and then this is the costume that we're going to be using today. I got this from Walmart for $8. I thought that was a steal. Originally, what I was going to do is I was going to put my hair up. Um, and make it like look kind of big but I put the headpiece on and I liked how it looked with my hair down so after I'm done putting the earrings on I'm just gonna go ahead and put the headpiece on um, I put it kind of a little farther back instead of putting it super forward just so that way my hair can really like fall down in the front and then I had a hell of a time trying to put the gloves on that came with the costume one they're not fat girl friendly um, but I mean beggars can't be choosers this costume was only like eight dollars so um i did pull off the tag and it like ripped the glove at the seams right there so i will just be careful with that if you decide to buy this costume at walmart i didn't have nails because i took my nails off yesterday so i wanted to do some press-ons um i thought these went well with them and it just comes with like a little nail file i sanded my nail down with it Alright you guys, and that completes this look, my first ever Halloween tutorial. I'm so happy with the way that this came out. Um, make sure that you like, comment down below, other videos that you want to see, anything you have in mind for Halloween. I'm definitely going to be making some more videos, so be on the lookout for that this month. And thanks for watching.